Hello, everyone. It's a great day for some football here on the 2K Sports Network, broadcasting live from the Dome. For the home team, we've got the Indians. They'll be squaring off against the Cobra. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at today's All-Pro lineups, Peter. So these two guys are a couple of the best to play at their respective positions. They show up every game and put it all on the line. They lead their squads admirably. They'll have their hands full with a top-notch opponent. These two players are in the spotlight because they stand apart. They're the ones you write books about, tell stories to your kids about. Yep, they're the best of the best. Thanks, Peter. The captains are at midfield for the coin toss. Good to see you. This should be fun. The Cobras will make the selection. What is the call? We'll take heads. It is tails. We'll receive. The Indians have won the toss and select to receive. Davis kicks off and the game is underway. Number 17 catches it back at the four. Dragged down at the 27. Number 17 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Indians will start the drive at their own 27 yard line. Come on, defense. Collins takes it across the line of scrimmage and picks up a couple. Second and eight. Ball at the 29 yard. Takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Holmes tackles him for a short loss. Tackle made by Holmes. No gain on the play. We're going with Trey 50 clear drag. Let's do it. Break. Third down, one man down. Ball at the 29 yard. Number eight makes the nice catch, and he's just short of the first down. That will bring up fourth down. Minardi lines up to punt after the three and out. Blanchard is deep to receive. Oh, yeah, Butter. I'm coming. I'm back. Minardi gets the snap and punts it away. Blanchard fields it at the 25. Dodges a tackle. One man to beat. No one in front of him. Touchdown! Ryan Blanchard doesn't settle for anything but the best on this play. And why should he? Got it, takes it, runs it, can't get him. Speed, power. Whew, this play has everything, including six points at the end of it. It's all about making plays happen. That's the first score of the game, and it was very nicely done, Peter. Great execution there. Davis is back for the point after. Miles will hold the kick. Now the extra point, and it's good. The extra point is good. Don't get down, guys. This is nothing. Nothing. When we get that lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Davis sends it downfield. 
Number 17 fields the kickoff at the three. Dragged down at the 24. Number 17 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. We're going with a strong zone cutback. Let's make it count. The Indians, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 24-yard line. Collins carries it for the third time and chews up about four on the play. Second and six from your Indian 28 yard line. Number 99 gets the sack way back at the 22. He loses six yards on the play. It's nothing, man. I just didn't feel like throwing it. There Let's go, nine. boys. I want to see some blocking out of you. 22-yard line. Carroll didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Pete Carroll ran open for an almost certain connection, but the pass fell incomplete. Oh, that's a big chance wasted. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Minardi lines up for the punt. Oh, here I come, kicker. Here I come, here I come. Minardi takes the long snap and punts it away. Blanchard deals the punt at the 39. Pop hard at the 43. Brian Blanchard didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. Okay, people. Split twins, strong fold sweep. Stay sharp. The Cobras offense takes the field and they will start at their 43 yard line. Number 45 penetrates and makes the stop at the 42. Number 45 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 12 throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 40. Brought down at the 45. Dan Harris had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Finally stopped at the 41. First and ten from the Indians, 41 yard line. Number seven takes him down back at the 43. Number 70 saw where that play was going right away and stopped it cold for a loss of yardage. A beautiful hit on that one. He really brought some thunder with him. And he rained on the offense's hopes of gaining some yards. In fact, the rest of this drive may get a little over. Blanchard will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Can't stop him, man. We got problems. Oh. Third and twelve. Ball at the forty-three yard line.
Number 12 just rifles this one, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Jacob Rivera struck down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. There's a migraine waiting to happen for a <laughs> defensive coordinator. They almost gave it up. Yeah, but they didn't let him convert. It's still going to go to fourth down. Fourth and short. Fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. Saunders takes the long snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Terry Saunders saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. This is a big one right here, boys. iPro, 90Z, quick out. Break. The Indians have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 20-yard line. Nick Collins is wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and six. Ball at the 24 yard line. Number 80 makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's looking for room. 10, touchdown! Number 80 keeps the party going here after hauling this one in. Well, Danny shows great hands and a little wiggle at the end of the play. Tough guy to bring down. You know, he's he's not a big scorer, usually, but he made a great play on the ball that time. Yeah, when a guy doesn't get thrown to all that much, people tend to forget about him, but I'll bet you now they know his name. Here's the point after, and it's good! Barrow kicks it off. Blanchard catches it back at the 7. Back down at the 29. Brian Blanchard got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. This is what we're going to do. Triple 50X, opposite flow. Let's make it count. The Cobras stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 29-yard line. Number 70, Jackson, way back at the 21. Number 70 sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, and that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Blanchard hangs the dart right sideline, and that's good for a gain of five. Ryan Blanchard is wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. Third down, 13 yards to go. Number 12 rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. How about blocking this thing? Come on, let's swarm this guy. Saunders hey. lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 
Rogers takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 17 takes it at the 36. Stop at the 39. Number 17 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. Okay, let's run. I jokers, we talk. Break. The Indians got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 39-yard line. Collins will lose four on the play, and that will bring up second down. Mario Pearson saw where that play was going right away and stopped it cold for a loss of yardage. A beautiful hit on that one. He really brought some thunder with him. And he rained on the offense's hopes of gaining some yards. In fact, the rest of this drive may get a little overcast. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good lead on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Number 80 catches this one, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. First and 10 from the Cobra 16 yard line. him for a short loss. Sammy Mack would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his third tackle of the game. Second and ten. Pete Carroll had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. This is a take no prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. Now the extra point and it's good. Feels mighty good to be in front, don't it, boys? Barrow sends it downfield. Blanchard fields the kickoff at the eight. Breaks a tackle, crosses the field, brought down at the 29. Ryan Blanchard got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Cobras are on the field, and they have not produced well at all. They're looking for an answer as they start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Blanchard will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Number 45 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Blanchard gets the call again and heads left. Brought down at the 33. Brian Blanchard gained some extra yards on that last play by adding a dynamite hurdle at the end of the run. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third and Number 70 sacks him back at the 30. That will bring up fourth down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Indians are out in front 14 to 7. Number 
2017. Saunders takes the snap and punts it away. Number 17 fields the punt at the 31. Stopped at the 33. That return went nowhere, baby! Yeah! The Indians will start a drive with the lead for the first time this game. We'll begin at their 33-yard line. Collins has his number called on first down and gains about three yards. Second and six. Ball at the 36 yard line. Number five makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Number five came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third and six. Ball at the 36 yard line. David Fisher missed an opportunity to make a connection on that play because he got decked as he was passing. Incompletion. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Blanchard is deep to receive. Minardi gets the ball and punts it away. Blanchard fields it at the 25. Hammered down at the 28. The Cobras haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 28-yard line. Rivera gets the sack at the 24. Jacob Rivera just nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Well, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. He gets the assist, and he now has one half of a sack for the game. Number 98, Jackson, way back at the 15. Number 98 drops the quarterback way back there, and what was the quarterback doing way back there anyway? I've heard of deep pockets, but that's ridiculous. Well, not this time. The quarterback lost it all on that play. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Jacob Rivera brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Saunders gets the ball and punts it away. Number 17 deals the punt at the 44. Tackled at the 48. The Indians start this one on the center logo at their 48 yard line. and that will bring up first down. First down Nick 
Collins sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Harold passes it over the middle, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. David Fisher gambles big time on this play, and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch, too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 190 yards and two touchdowns. Collins takes it for his eighth carry and gets taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Number nine read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards right. in the process. Great second effort. They halt this play behind the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up a second down. You don't get nowhere running the ball. Double <laughs> Number nine penetrates and makes the stop at the seven. Number nine got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Fisher fires this one over the middle, and it's caught for the score. Pete Carroll reels in the pass despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. They really didn't phase him there. Maybe they ought to send in a third. This guy has earned his team big points today. That's why he's such a key player. Yeah, he knows how to make himself available in that part of the field, scoring his second touchdown of this contest. Now the point after, and it's good. Sends it downfield. Blanchard catches it back at the eight. Breaks a tackle. Charges. Tackled at the 33. We have a flag on the plate. Let's listen to the call. Flipping number 94. Receiving team. 15 yard penalty from the spot to the foul. First down. Leo Sutton clipped his man on that last play, and the ref saw it, threw the flag. There's a penalty. The Cobras must feel like they need to score this timeout. This drive will start at their own 17-yard line. Blanchard makes the catch on the right sideline and gains a couple. Brian Blanchard had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. They gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Oh, Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Number 98 tackles him for a short loss. Number 98 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Bartkowski catches it left sideline, and he will be short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Steve Bartkowski got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. A good play gets them close, but only close. And close doesn't count in pro football. Sam 
Sanders gets the ball and punts it away. Number 17 fields it at the 38. Tackled at the 40. The Indians come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 40-yard line. Collins gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Saul Andrews got in there and made the key block on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and four from your Indian, 45 yards. Number 99 tackles him for a short loss. Number 99 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. at the 41. It'll be fourth down. Guy McIntyre sacks the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, man, that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. He gets the assist, and he now has one half of a sack for the game. That's not felt good. That's not felt good. takes the long snap and punts it away. Blanchard fields the punt at the 22. Tackled at the 28. Brian Blanchard got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Cobras can climb back into it with a score before the half here. They'll start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Blanchard takes the handoff and heads out right, tackled at the 34. Brian Blanchard played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Okay, people. Pair slots, 50 tight end, out and in. And break. Second down from the eye. Second and three from the Cobra, 34 yard. Number 12 passes this one, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Chris Brandon came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Blanchard gets the call on third down and is dropped short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Number 70 would not be denied and drop them for a huge loss. Big play. They take away any and all room and prevent that play from getting past the line of scrimmage. Fourth down coming up. Takes the snap and punts it away. Number 17 fields it at the 30. Stop at the 33. You guys don't want to deal with me in the open field.
The Indians come out on the field and are looking to extend their lead before the break. They'll start at their 33-yard line. Pollard has his number called on first down and gets taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Number nine got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Another tackle and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Take their first time out. Okay, people, but 50, ZD post. Stay sharp, break. Third down and four wideouts in the game. It's intercepted. Brought down at the 34. David Fisher carries this one out of the gate, and it costs him big time. That's not the guy he was looking for, Dan. The D really brought some pressure to bear. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. and that will take them out of field goal range. Hudson rolls in the pass and that's a touchdown. Ricardo Hudson is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. They go for the deep one again here again in the second and finally it hits its mark. Downfield passing is an art form most teams have a hard time mastering. We'll see if they can make a bigger statement now after that last completion. Here's the point after and it's good. The point is good. Davis sends it downfield. Number 17 fields the kickoff at the one. Brought down at the 22. Number 17 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Indians are looking for some separation before the half and will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Collins punches this one left of center and will gain close to six. Woo! You must be scared to see a legend bearing that on your ass, huh? Second down, two tight ends in the game. will get the carry on second down and it's taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Number 99 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle so far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Indians are out in front, 21 to 14. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards.
The Indians should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Blanchard would field the punt, make the first man miss, and then things opened up in front of him. A 65-yard play that set up touchdown for the visitors. The Cobras get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Midway through the first, the ball at their own 24. Number 80 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 76-yard touchdown for the home team. Towards the end of the first quarter, game tied, seven all. Number 80 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. The Indians again have it. Carroll is going to find himself on the receiving end of this one, and he works his way open for the big play. A 36-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Indians ahead 21-7. to Simmons was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Cobras have it off an interception. Ball at the 40-yard line. Number 12 is back, and he's pretty much locked in on his wide receiver, and he hits him. A 39-yard touchdown for the visitors. And that will do it. The Indians are locked in a defensive struggle, 21 to 14. All right, good work, partner. The Cobras will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down 21 to 14. Let's go down to the field. Barrow boots the second half kickoff away. Blanchard fields the second half kickoff at the eight. Dragged down at the 31. Brian Blanchard received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Cobras bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 31 yard line. Blanchard carries it for the ninth time and gets just past the line, but not by much before being brought down. Brian Blanchard had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. the 28. Jacob Rivera gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got three tackles and three sacks. Number 15 hauls it in right side, and he will be well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Jacob Rivera shut down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. That's his third tackle of the game. Oh, yeah, butter. I'm coming. I'm locking in. Saunders gets the ball and punts it away. Number 17 fields the punt at the 27. Tackled at the 31. Your special teams ain't too special, huh? The Indians offense takes the field and they will start at their 31 yard line. Takes this one way out left and picks up a couple. Nick Collins stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Second down, tight end to the left. Fifth 
Fisher passes this one, and with the receptions made at the 38, Hackle at the 42. Saul Andrews is wondering if he slipped into the twilight zone or something because the coverage is in another dimension. Oh, sad recognition by the defense. Somebody has got to step up on that side of the ball. That was exactly what the offense wanted. Good job not to even let it get to third down. He was still short of the yardage marker when he received that ball, but his legs and determination got him the first. Carroll catches the heater left sideline, and it's good for a gain of 10 on the play. Pete Carroll has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Another short, quick strike, and the defense looks helpless to stop this ball control strategy. Yeah, it's a great game plan this offense has been executing, no doubt about it. Hey. Second and in inches. Side and picks up the first down. No, no, no! Now stay! No, sir! Holland gets the toss and runs into traffic. Pearson brings him down behind the line at the 50. Mario Pearson keeps his man from getting back to the line. Right. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Fisher zings it to the right side, and caught at the 47, dragged down at the 43. David Fisher made a good, clean throw. That's a textbook play executed perfectly. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. the first on third and long. Pete Carroll goes mano y mano and the ball's waiting for him there on the cut. Great communication by quarterback and receiver together. This has been quite a clinic on how to execute a short passing attack. Great job by the quarterback of hitting his receivers in stride so they can continue to advance the ball with their legs after the catch. Holland takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Tackled at the 21. He picks up one on the play. Number 99 credited with the tackle. Second and eight from the Cobra 21 yard line. Holland will get the carry on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Nick Collins stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Zips it to the left side, and the catch is made at the 11. Chased down at the four. It'll be first and goal. 16 yards on the play. First Pete down, Carroll really in. delivers on this play. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to make his way forward for extra yards. Oh, he's a go-to guy for sure. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Nick Collins powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not a lot of room. Second down. 
Dig in, fellas. Protect our end zone. Nobody crosses that goal line. Second and goal. Well, they can run, but they also have a go-to receiver in there. Let's watch. Collins gets the call again and heads wide right. Number 28 takes him down back at the five. Number 28 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his third tackle of the game. David Fisher didn't have a lot of room to sneak that ball in there. Oh, I got to see this again. Yeah, the throw is a tight fit, but he and the receiver make it work. A great catch in traffic, good vision, good timing on the play made that work. Now we are seeing signs of true greatness. He's looking like a league MVP. All oh, those defensive backs should look in the mirror and ask themselves if they're really ready to play this game. It's good. it away. Blanchard fields it way back at the 8. Blocked down at the 30. Ryan Blanchard was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. Here we go, guys. A strong zone cutback. Let's make it count. The Cobras, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Rivera tackles in for a short loss. Jacob Rivera read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be his fourth tackle so hey. far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. Blanchard gets the handoff, passes the line, back down at the 31. Ryan Blanchard stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Number 12 throws a heater, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Kawika Jasper makes a play on the ball here that's definitely worth another look. Yes, excellent anticipation on that incoming missile. The defense forces fourth down, and even if they had completed the pass... It still would have been short. Yes. You, you have to run those routes farther in that situation. Gets the snap and punts it away. Number 17 hauls it in at the 32. Ground to a halt at the 34. Now that's what I like to see. Nice coverage, guys. The Indians passed well last time out. We'll see if they stick to the passing game as they start this drive at their 34-yard line. Collins will get the carry on first down and gains about three yards. He picks up three on the play. 
McIntyre credited with the tackle. Let's go! Second and seven. Ball at the 37 yard line. Number 99 makes the sack at the 33. Lawson, four yards on the play. Number 99 just denies the quarterback on this one. He says, sit down, buddy. You're not going anywhere. Sure, he hits him hard now, but then after the game, they'll go out for a beer and make up. Uh, no, not really. Another sack, and he's got two for the game. Fisher gets some air under this pass, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 28 knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Selected to punt. Blanchard is deep to receive. Here I come, punter. I'm coming. I'm going to block the punt. Minardi takes the snap and punts it away. Blanchard to the punt at the 29. Back on that the 33. Way to stay in your gaps, everybody! The Cobras take the field, and their running game hasn't generated much other than a big play here or there. We'll see how they fare as we start at their 33-yard line. Blanchard will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Andre Milligan read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. will get the carry on second down and takes it upfield. Drag down at the 42. Brian Blanchard juke perfectly there to dodge the tackle. He's like poetry in motion, Dan. And I'm sure this defense is dying to hold a poetry slam. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. You be ready out there. You hear me? Brian Blanchard stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Well, Peter, a pretty nice job there converting on third down. Yeah, didn't get a lot, but didn't need to. Good job. Blanchard barrels off his left guard and rambles for about five. Blanchard with the carry. He picks up five on the play. Brandon credited with the tackle. Second and five. Ball at the 48 yard line. Blanchard takes his 16th carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Number 31 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. It's third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Chews up four yards, and they convert the third down. Ooh, a solid run here, Dan. You want a running back who can make those short, critical yards when it matters. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Number 12 throws a bullet to the flat, and he's on target for a gain of five. 
Number 12 made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it right. over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Blanchard goes right up the middle and picks up a couple. Third down, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Number seven, sacks him back at the 41. That will bring up fourth down. Number 70, that's the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, and that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. Another sack by this defensive squad, and they have generated, well, some very shocking numbers so far. I don't know about shocking, but turf feeding, yes. Saunders gets the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Terry Saunders saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. Ready? It's gonna be double 50 Z tight end cross. Stay sharp. The Indians will start this drive at their own 20 yard line. Fisher fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 80 easily beats the double team to the spot and the football. Perfect synchronization on that play. Dan, you know, the receiver who can outfight two defenders for the football will make almost any quarterback look good. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. Collins snags the missile and, and he stopped right there. You guys ain't got game. Second and four. Take it to your man right here. Four Indians, 32 yard line. Collins had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third and 13. Ball at the 32-yard line. Number 88 grabs the rope right side, and they get the first on third and long. David Fisher launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. Another terrific throw and completion. This team is piling up serious yardage and putting consistent pressure on the defense. Consistency, 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 even into the fourth quarter. If they keep this up, Dan, they'll have this game locked down. Sounded almost Shakespearean. Almost. Fisher lets it go down the right side, and it's off. Incomplete. Holland picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Okay, coach wants this one. Good. Quads left 50 red flood. 
Third and nine from the Cobras, 49 yards. Yeah. Floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 28 came in and got a hand on that football. It left no chance for a reception there. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Deep to receive. Minardi gets the snap and punts it away. Blanchard takes it at the 13. Stop at the 22. Brian Blanchard did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Cobras had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 22-yard line. Bartkowski makes the catch out to the left and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 12 throws this one over the middle and it's tipped. Incomplete. Jacob Rivera wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second and ten from the Cobra, 37 yards. it in the flat and gains a couple. Number 12 throws a bullet and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Mike Townsend came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. the first off a big fourth and long. Number 12 throws a bullet here. And the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete. Archrell Swain dropped the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Ball at the 16-yard line. Number 12 fires this one over the middle and the reception's made at the nine and he's stopped right there. Number 41 catches it in the flat and they convert on third down. Number 12 throws this to the end zone and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 28 didn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Go time. Second and goal from the Cobras, five yards. Down. Six. Back. 
Jasper tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Kawika Jasper shows swivel hips and burst to get in position for the denial. That takes instincts and awareness you, you just can't coach. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up and the D keeps sending it back. We're setting you down, baby! You can't move the ball! Number 12 throws this to the end zone, and it's cut for the score. Brian Blanchard had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. This guy has earned his team big points today. That's why he's such a key player. Yeah, he knows how to make himself available in that part of the field, scoring his second touchdown of this contest. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Davis pooches it, Townsend gathers it up at the 43. Stop at the 40. Mike Townsend is quick to react when the onside kick comes bouncing his way. Watch him move. And get the football before the kicking team has a shot. It's all about reflexes. They can't bring down the onside kick. Pretty aggressive play calling there, though. Well, the offense is like a one in four chance of recovering uh -huh. those, but they knew the risks. The Indians take the field with time winding down. They'll start at the 40-yard line. <laughs> Collins loses about three, and that brings up second down. Number 28 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles and one sack. Two-minute warning. All right, big play. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah, I hope they come at us the same way. Second down. The clock is stopped at two minutes. Collins gets the call again, and the Cobras take their first time up. Nick Collins used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down, 11 third yards down. to go. their second. Sammy Mack made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He's got seven tackles so far. Minardi gets ready to punt it away. Minardi gets the snap and punts it away. The Cobras will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.46.
Blanchard catches the bullet out left and tries to get free. Brought down, and that will be a safety. Jacob Rivera comes off the line like a hungry rhino looking for that safety. And he gets it, pinning him in the end zone for two. You can't coach that. Saunders doesn't put a whole lot of oomph into this kick. Number 28 catches it at the 25. Dragged down at the 41. takes a knee and the clock will tick down. Third and 13 from your Indians. Dirty Fisher takes a knee and the clock will tick down. Your Indians have selected to punt. Blanchard is deep. Oh, yeah, butter. I'm coming. I'm blocking this. Minardi gets the ball and punts it away. Blanchard fields the punt at the 24. Stop at the 29. Brian Blanchard got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Cobras start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 8. The clock continues to run. Second down, and the clock is now at five. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Fisher went to the air, trying to convert on third down, and he found his man. A 21-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Indians now up by 14. Midway through the fourth, all at their own 32-yard line. Fisher went up top on the third down play, and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Late into the fourth quarter, the Cobras back by 14. Number 12 went up top on fourth down as they decide to go for it, and it turns out to be the right call. They climb back again and are now down by, by seven. The Cobras still late in the half. Rivera would break through with a big play here as he shot through the line and was able to wrap his man up in the end zone for a safety. And that will do it. The Indians come away with a win, 30 to 21. So then, it's time to give recognition to our 2K Sports Player of the Game.
Pete Carroll showed us exactly why he's a legend. He was the focus of the offense in this one, making big catch after big catch on his way to some big numbers. When a receiver asserts himself like that, it doesn't go unnoticed. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.